any kind of crisis, any kind of shared public moment, people want to participate. They have a great desire to be a part of what's going on. And absent a formal channel, they developed informal ones. The FBI and the Boston police did an exceptional job, but they had essentially a tip line, an email account, a, an online form you could fill out. It was circa 1999 in terms of what the internet's capable of. If the official institutions evolved had given them uh, more sophisticated channels and ways of participating, uh, ways that would bring more integrity to the process, then the incentive for people to participate in other channels and in, in, in informal channels would be greatly diminished. We have somewhere north of a decade of best practices in crowdsourcing to solve complicated problems. There's a bunch of well-established rules. Define the problem, provide a lot of data, offer a very clearly carefully structured process and way for people to participate. And finally, make sure that you have a diverse, a diverse network participating. If the FBI and the Boston Police and other institutions involved around the investigation had provided more opportunities and uh, better vehicles for people to participate, that, that would provide more integrity to the entire process.